Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the A3 Review. It has been a while. Yes, it has been. This season has been really tough. Um, uh, you know, try my hardest, but I do have the new one. Hey, so. but you know, you we all know you've been busy. You've been going to conventions and... That too, that, that <laughs> hasn't helped. So, you know, between juggling the kids, um, going to the conventions... Uh, you know, we still love you guys. We're really trying hard to come out with as many episodes as we can. Hopefully, you know, things start stabling out uh, a little bit more. But, you know, I've got another round of conventions to get to. So <laughs> well, you know what? It never stops. Conventions aren't always a bad thing because uh, you guys uh, show us a lot of support. And you guys have been patient. And therefore, after the conventions, we always have things to show you guys. That's right. Uh, so this time, you know, I didn't forget about you guys. I did uh, get uh, MMC to uh, graciously lend me some of their test shots mm -hmm. from TFCon Toronto yeah. 2018. And uh, I have them here with me so that all of you guys who couldn't attend could get a little bit of a closer look at these guys on video. Um, I'm super excited about some of the new releases that they have coming out, so I would love to share some of them with you this episode. Cool! And uh, I'm looking forward to it, so let's get right on to it. My name is Alex. I'm Boris. You're watching the A3 Review. So the first thing that we are looking at, and this is actually a first look, are these guys, what are these guys? They're, they look uh, really familiar to me, but uh, of course we have like really unique names. So what do we got here? Uh, yeah, so this is the MMC reformatted line. Um, uh, also shown at uh, TFCon Toronto. Yeah. Uh, I think everyone's seen the uh, pet. Uh, sorry, the official names are Foxwire. Foxwire. And MMC Knee. And Knee. Yeah. That's okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I, I don't know. Um, that's what I was told. It okay. Is, it is kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, but essentially, what it is is it's the uh, a couple more of the DJ D. Group okay. All right. From the IDW comics. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that means De Decepticon Justice Division, and they're essentially a bunch of assassins that uh, kill traitors of the cause. Well, the Decepticon cause. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, what we have here is uh, the pet. He's yeah. In uh, the books, he's known as the pet mm -hmm. or Agent 113. Okay. He's had a few names. Um, and he changes from uh, his was little a lion or cat a mode, a cat, cat some, some sort of a some kind of feline, cyber feline. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the robot mode. Uh, and then there's Nicole from the comics. Uh, she is a medic, like a mini bot. Oh, okay, it's medic. she. That's right. Okay. Um, and she essentially maintains and fixes uh, anyone that's in the DJD crew. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is the uh, for some the first look at uh, both of them. Yeah. Uh, but the real uh, new one is the Nicole that uh, wasn't shown. Uh, before TFCon Toronto, yeah. and it's uh, actually kind of cool. It's it's uh, you know it's got the right scale. He's she's just like a little mini, uh, a small <laughs> bot compared to the rest of the DJD crew. Well, I just think it's just a, a unique, uh, a unique transformable robot. I mean, both in robot and alt mode. I mean, this is just a weird looking alt mode and a weird looking robot. But I like it because it. It's weird, <laughs> and somehow it turns into this, this, uh, this weird. I don't know what is this a uh, like a spaceship that looks like it goes underwater with jetpacks. I don't know. It's, it's actually, weird. Actually, yeah, I think it's just in the comics. He's just meant to be some sort of a something medical roller. Sure. Okay. You know, uh, just like basically maintains the bots. Okay. Uh, All right. But uh, yeah, she can fight and defend and all okay. that kind of good stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, main role is, uh, medic. 
And but I just think it's really cool that they're going all out. They're doing all of them, including um, characters like Nicole. And I think it's kind of cool to have a break in um, the line to to look at some of the more obscure. Yeah, I agree. Guys in the line. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, and then the pet actually is is quite nice. It's very detailed. Uh, in I agree. In the cat mode, he's got this little chain uh, leash. I love the tail, like all that detail there. Yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty awesome. Um, and it's a, you can't see it, but they have a nice little mechanism that allows it to kind of like turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to the side and like, and then in bot mode, it comes out as you know flares out. And, yeah. Uh, gives him some balance in mm -hmm. the back there. Yeah. Um, it also comes with this, uh, the broken ear as, uh, illustrate, uh, it's kind of from the, the comics as well. Yeah. The storyline and he's got a head sculpt that has the full ear. Yeah. So it's kind of nice that he comes with a few things. That's cool. Uh, yeah. And these are of course test shots. Sure. You know, so. It's just the beginning. I haven't seen the final coloring yet. Uh, yeah. I don't know when that's gonna, um come out but uh you know just playing with uh, these guys it's it's very obvious it's still not quite there yet so not going to review any of the transformations today on some of these guys uh because i don't think it would be very useful for anyone uh nor would it be a fair assessment of what the final production uh product is but the transformations are pretty interesting there's a few clever things here and there um but i will wait till we get yeah. the uh, production samples and we will definitely do a follow-up um, with the uh, MMC uh, reformatted line once they're available for mass release. Sure. So yeah, that is the uh, first things we want to look at. Um, Let's check out the next one. Next thing? Yeah. Cool. So what do we have in store for us here now, Boris? Uh, so I, uh, I know you don't read the comics, but it's another IDW reference. Okay, all right. Cool. Uh, this is Roller from the comics. Okay. Uh, it's it's MMC's reformatted line as well, and it is uh, MMC uh, Cylindris. Okay. I believe. It, does the Roller in IDW have any connection with the Roller that's inside Prime's trailer? Um, or they, it's completely two different entities. Like, I, you know what? That's a good question. <laughs> okay, maybe uh, the people in the comments <laughs> can let us know. What. I, I haven't read. There's actually a whole storyline on him. <laughs> um, I haven't read. Like I've, some people have told me it is. Okay. Uh, I just don't know the story enough to kind sure. of um, really comment on it. I haven't read everything, as you guys know. There's just quite a bit. Yeah. Um, uh, so some things I have read, some things I haven't. Okay. This, so this happens let's... to be the storyline. Sure that I did not uh, deal with. So this is based off of IDW's roller? Uh, yes, Okay. but it is based on the IDW roller. Uh, this is a very classic uh, uh, look that he has in the comic from the uh, Alex Milne yep. sketch. Yep. He actually looks very close to uh, what it looks like in that sketch. Um, the actual uh, product is on pre-order right now so you can pre-order it from us or any other fine retailer or seller sure. that you can get this from. Um, what stage is this at right now in production? Uh, it feels like a, a very good test shot. Um, okay. Like the there's a few things that are a little bit loose on it so it's not quite production mm -hmm. ready yet and I can tell there's some things that are like not final color yet either. Okay. Uh, some things are hand painted, so but for the most part, some of the plastics uh, look like they might be uh, the right colors already. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very, like I said, accurate. Mm -hmm. um, and okay. yeah, and uh, he's actually going to come with in the in the drawing. I should have shown you that ahead of this, but uh, he's he's infamous. He's got that this little juice box he has. He's, okay, yeah, it's kind of goes with the whole thing and uh that's gonna come with the yes oh okay well that's good that they, they come with a little juice they box to that gimmick yeah to pay homage to it yeah um but uh otherwise uh one thing to note is uh it is an uh quite a clever retool again of the culture mold oh no wonder it looks so familiar a, yeah it, it was a tarn mold <laughs> 
They have done so much with that mold. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, at, at, there are points when I know that's kind of like people are like, oh, really again? But at the same time, it still you know, works. It, it looks awesome. Yeah. You know? And, you know, I, I know a lot of people will complain about that, but, you know, realistically, like, no one, no third party is going to spend the money and research R and D mm. to just release a uh, individual unique mold. Yeah. Of roller. Yeah. I know. I know it's yeah. cool and everything, yeah. but yeah. there are just a lot of um, bots that are not mainstream enough that warrant. Yeah. That kind of um, uh, you know R and D. So sure. I think in that sense. It's great to have retools. I think it's a good move. Yeah, and I think it's good that they've spent, you know, they weren't lazy about yeah. it. I mean, you look at this and you're like, wow, that's also from the Tarn, yeah. uh, you know, mold. So yeah. that's that's really quite good. Um, and MMC has actually gotten really great at figuring out uh, their retools. They actually do a really good job of retooling because they also used this recently for Thunder Clash. Uh, mm -hmm. We haven't reviewed that yet. Okay. Um, and Machine Wars Prime. Um, and it just it works with that. And it's stuff that you otherwise uh, wouldn't have in the market um, because nobody else is going to spend that kind of uh, money and just do a unique mold for it. So, sure. you know, that's essentially uh, roller okay um but yeah uh that's coming soon if you are excited about it you should pre-order yeah yeah let's check out something else yeah i got something really cool for the next one all right now this looks very familiar yeah um <laughs> i guess everyone knows this one i um, didn't expect to see this like at all oh lord <laughs> A large scale Skylink. Yeah, it's massive. Yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, and it's got diecast and all. This is also from the reformed line. Wow, uh, the MSC reformed line, and it's quite amazing. Um, yeah, uh, Magna is already up for pre-order, so it will be sold in two parts. Okay. Uh, this is Inventa. This Inventa. Is, okay. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Uh, Magna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but essentially, um, it's uh, uh, it's bang on to like what I would expect from totally uh, a reformatted uh, Skylinks. It, it's got a lot of interesting little clever um, nooks and uh, transformations. Um, but uh, all in all, like it has actually got some heft to it. It's got die cast. Like these feet are full die cast. Oh yeah, so I can totally see that. Some great weight to it. Uh, it has the LED light up eyes. Oh, it's not working on this okay. model, unfortunately. Um, but the coloring is really nice uh, in cat mode. It looks pretty phenomenal, I think. Yeah. Um, and of course, they combine together to make the very cool shadow mode. Yeah. Uh, or the shadow combined with the little, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. the rolling. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I want to like move him around a little bit more, but this one is definitely a very, very early test shot. Uh -huh. So if I do, his neck will just fall all the way down this way. It kind of looks awkward in this position right now, but hopefully uh, you can catch it on the B-roll that this thing is yeah. actually quite nice. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to transform it into the shuttle. <laughs> um, I I don't think it's as interesting as the bird right now. Oh, but this definitely is... when we get the full production yeah. model, we're gonna be able to take a look at it in its uh, full glory. Yeah. Um, but right now, I think the bird mold mold is uh, mode is really really cool, and you'll see that uh, in the B roll that its uh, tail has a lot of articulation, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of. Um, uh, those kind of joints here. Yeah, like one, two, three, four, wow, five. It's it's a very joints. articulated tail because like it it goes it swivels one way and then also up and down. That's correct. So yeah. it swivels up and down and left to right for each joint. Yeah. So you can have a very organic looking tail. Yeah. Um, and same thing with the uh, neck. It's very organic as well because it has the swivel yeah. as well as um, 
uh, kind of up and down and back and uh, side to side, so yeah. you can have. It's going to be very, more. very articulated. Uh, yeah, that's just play around with it. That's correct. Um, and then in the shuttle mode, it has like a little cool, like the arm comes out of the yeah. shuttle and everything. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, like there's landing gear that's just really, really well done. A lot of detail. Yeah. Uh, he's got the little gun in the mouth. Yeah. Um, oh man, I can't wait to see the the completed, the final product. Yeah, the color test shots is and uh, a little bit more of a tight test shot will mm -hmm. be uh, really welcome. And uh, yeah, I mean, for those that uh, are Skylynx fans, this is honestly a dream come true. It is really, really cool. Um, so definitely watch out for this one on pre-order as well. Uh, but uh, for now, we're going to have to wait. Okay. Hey, I recognize these guys too, but it uh, looks like they're missing some parts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so MMC showed off their version of Bruticus. Yeah. Um, man, there's a lot of Bruticus content out there. Right oh, now. there is. But this one actually looks uh, good. <laughs> uh, it's not bad. I mean, I'll, like, again, until... I get uh, better test shots. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna reserve judgment. On sure, sure. Guys. Um, but so far, so good. The world actually looks really great. Oh, totally. I love the styling on it, um, and in bot mode, like that's that's kind of the trick about all these things is, you know, how do you get them to look good in bot mode, and combined mode, right? Yeah. A lot of times, people sacrifice the bot mode. A lot of times, the combined mode is sacrificed. Yeah. And then furthermore, then you have the alt mode, which even if it's the least important to most people, uh, it is important to some. So, you know, it's a fine balance to get all of this. Um, the uh, uh, alt modes, I'm not going to change it into, uh, and I'm not going to change them into Onslaught because there's already a video on uh, uh, Pack for Life's channel. Oh, yes. Yeah, our buddy Henry has uh, fully looked at all uh, both of these guys here. Yes, back for life. Back for life. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, check it out. Um, what is it? P four L. Yeah, or... P A I K four life. Yes, with the number four. That's right. Look for him on YouTube. Shout um, out to Henry. That's right. Shout out. Um, yeah, so he does a great job. He looks at all the details, uh, even though it is a test shot. He was brave enough to get through all of that. Um, but yeah, that's another cool thing that's up and coming. Yeah. Um, again, a little bit of a wait. All we really have right now are the middle guy and the the one limb. So, you know, we'll see. We'll, I'm hoping that this thing's going to come out uh, a little bit faster than I think Feral Rex took a little bit. So I'm yeah. hoping these will come together a lot quicker now that they have the experience. But as you guys know, they did a great job with Feral Rex. Uh, so... You know, this being the second um, combiner that they've done, I've ha I have some really, you know, good feelings yeah. that they're going to do a great job on this. So, well, well just looking at the, the whirl, uh, uh, I, mean, I mean, the vortex, vortex. Yeah. Uh, he, he, I'm really curious what that, uh, that um, uh, um, alt mode, the helicopter mode is going to look like because all these helicopter parts are, are, that are on it, they already look very promising. Yeah, there's, there's so much detail on it. There is for uh, the propellers. I don't yeah. Know. I mean, usually it's kind of an afterthought more for most people, but yeah. this actually has some style to it, and yeah. it actually works uh, really nicely. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, check out uh, Henry's channel if All you right. want to take a look at the alt mode and uh, the other modes for Onslaught as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that pretty much does it for us. That's uh, the MMC preview. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a closer look uh, for those of you who couldn't make it to the show. Um, and yeah, thank you for MMC for lending these guys to us. Uh, you may never see them again. And that's our episode for today. We hope you guys enjoyed it. That's right. Um, I'm off to some more conventions. So wow, you are one busy body. I am, uh, <laughs> but I hope to get back to you guys soon. Uh, we do have some, you know, every time I want to show off something cool, mm -hmm. It never works out because I end up going to the convention and it becomes not relevant, as re as relevant anymore. Um, but that's the thing about me. I always got something cool. So yeah, whenever it is that we do our next episode, probably in a couple of weeks again, um, I'll definitely 
throw out a line and have something cool to show you guys again. So, yeah, you know, please stay tuned. Um, <clears throat> and thank you for following us still. I know it hasn't been regular, uh, but we're doing everything we can and every every chance we get. Yeah. We will come up with some good content for you guys. Yeah, this channel is always going to be around, so you don't have to worry about that. We're still here. Boris is still here. He's going off conventions. I'm going to still be here. So uh, we got stuff for you guys, so please stay patient, and you are going to see some really good content. So thank you so much for, once again, supporting us all the way through from the very beginning to now. We got a lot of great stuff for you guys. So... As always, if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, Ages 3 and Up. And we're also on Twitter and Instagram at Ages 3 and Up. And we'll see you on the next episode. See you next episode. Okay, bye-bye.